Hallelujah. Born again believing TIs. May the Lord keep my mind on him the entire time of reading his word and of this video. The reading of God's word. So I am going to Matthew chapter 5 and um, I'm going to start reading in verse 6, chapter 6 verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do, in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward, the attention that they were seeking. They have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. <clears throat> Many TIs, y'all, as it, as it says in James 4.17. Oh, Lord, help me. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. You're not paying your tithes and offerings. You know you're supposed to be doing it, but you're not, and you're in sin. And you're not experiencing God's greatness, fighting this program for you the way I am, experiencing his greatness and his might, because you're not paying your tithes and offerings. And Malachi says, you are robbing God, you are cursed with a curse, and you're not testing him the way he tells you to test him with the tithes and offerings. The only verse that you can... Um, the only verse in the Bible where you can test God. So a lot of TIs, born again believing TIs, who are in sin because they're not paying their tithes and offerings, they like to throw that scripture that I read before James. They like to throw that at me. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand's doing because they're in sin. So they want to try to make it good look like it's evil and evil look like it's good. You're talking about the fact that you're paying your tithes and offerings. That's evil. Oh, pay my tithes and offering? No. They're saying it because they themselves are in sin and they don't want to be called out about it. They just want to complain about the program but not do anything to usher in God's presence so God will manage this program for them. Reading the scripture. Now again, Matthew chapter 5, verse four, starting in verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So whether you let people know of your good works or you do not, it's an attitude of the heart. If you're only doing it to get attention, you should do it in secret. But if you're doing to educate and to set an example like what I just read, you should let people know. I let you, you, you beautiful TIs know you should be paying your tithes and offerings because it is from the Lord. I'm letting you know I'm living this example. I'm letting you know I've seen God work miracles for me. I've literally seen him make agents who are targeting me. I've, I've seen him make their vehicles crash. I've seen people whose businesses had a vehicle crash in front of them. I've seen people have seizures, nearly have heat strokes. The, the stuff God has done to them, sometimes I feel bad for them. But I do this, and I'm bringing up the tithes and offerings because it's such a powerful way for you to usher in God's presence and see these miracles yourself. I'm not doing it to brag. I'm not I'm educating you and letting you know what you can do other than complain what you can do to usher in God's presence so you don't have to complain. 